Hey, Model Railroad fans. You're in for a treat today. You get a twofer. First part of this shows my uh, grain train script one running. And in the other part of it, you see uh, some script education, which you can skip if you're not into that. But uh, watch it rain for a while. I think it's running pretty good. Model Railroad fans. This video is just a script video. I learned something uh, really cool today. I thought I'd share it. One of my subscribers has asked about uh, how he could change his uh, locomotive number uh, easily. He was thinking about a pop-up screen, but uh, I didn't know how to do pop-up screens. I told him how I was just embedding the, the number in the program and then changing the program. I figured out a better way to do that. It's almost like a pop-up, but not quite. So what you do is to find these memory variables in the uh, tables section of uh, the JMRI program. So you go down, to, you do tables, you go down to memory variables, and then you create a memory variable. On the bottom of the screen, you can't see it, there's an add. You just let it automatically assign the system name because you don't use that. Then you give it a username that's meaningful, and that's what you use inside your programs. And then you give it a variable. Over here to the right, you can delete them if you want to. Mine start at 5 because I had created some earlier in just testing. But So you set up whatever variables you want to be able to easily change and pass into your scripts. So inside my uh, script, uh, I define these global variables. These are just about whether I'm going to run the programs. But down here, this is the variables, global variables for the the number, the train, the loco numbers I want to use. This is the way I used to do it. I used to hard code them right into this program, but now I'm doing the let me scroll that down just a bit. Now what I'm doing is reading out of the memory variables. And that command is memories.getMemory, the name of that uh, variable, which is gr grain loco number. And then you do a get value. It gets the value out of that column, value, uh, the value column. So these are the way I set those four different locos that I'm uh, trying to run in my script simultaneously. So also, let me adjust this, I want to tell my program whether to run these uh, trains or not. So in the past I used to hard code whether to run them or not run them. Done means don't run them. 
Now these asterisks over here mean uh, these are turned into comments now, so it ignores this stuff. So then on my commands to run or don't run, I get the memory variables for the run, grain chain, part one or two or so forth, and then do the get value. So that's how I uh, pass the run or don't run into the, the main program from the memory tables. And then finally, the other thing you have to do is these memory variables are coming out of there in a text format. But when you set your throttle, that has to be a number. So you have to convert text to number with this integer command. So that's how you do that with just the INT. So that's how you can uh, set up an easy way using memory tables to uh, change your locomotive numbers or run or don't run your scripts. Thanks for watching.